these these guys are being really really difficult. They won't eat the meat. They won't eat the, um, my juice or drink my juice. They're kind of interested in honey, but they won't stay on long enough. So I got to do something drastic. Catch and release. So I'm going to make a trap that can catch them. We'll have food in it. Move them to a location towards their hive and release and hopefully they'll come back feeding to that location. Otherwise, at least I'll see in the direction I need to be going. So really simple trap idea. Here's the door, right? I can open this up, get the hornets, put the trap the hornets, close it, got a little door, push in, right? And it locks, should lock, get locked before. And uh, there you go, locks. And then I've got some air here for heat to escape. That's it, simple trap. So I already put some honey in there so uh, they can finish eating that and relax. And once they relax, they will leave and then go to their home and back. All right, let's go trap some hornets. So I have the trap here. Can't get any closer to the camera, unfortunately. But let's go catch yourself a hornet. Hornets. Very upset. So, what I'm going to do now is move him to another location. There's a guy right here flying around. Oh, he's found it. They're finding the, the juice here. That's good. found my bug juice it's on this chair here. Maybe I right, can stop this. So I've walked about a hundred meters down into a clearing here. There's a clearing, I can see the sky. So the idea is I can see them go up and then which direction are they going to go. They're going to go straight up and they're going to give me an orientation. That's where they were. Here's our little guys. So all I'm going to do is open up the top for them. All right. And then stick in a stick. All right. And open the door. So, now they're not very smart hornets, <laughs> as you can see. Let's help them out a little bit, and let's put it kind of sideways here, and see if they will figure out a way. This guy's drinking, drinking the water, that's a good sign. There you go. I get my glasses on. He's cleaning himself. That's a good sign. They're just all up in a state. I'm going to back off a little bit so I can see them better when they fly out. So I'm going to watch from here. Found myself a good viewing spot. I'm going to sit here and watch. 
So down there is the hornets. And I should be able to see them which way they go. So just chill out. A lot of waiting. Just like when fishing. Just gotta wait. Let them relax, let them come out, and we'll go from there. Did I say a lot of waiting? Come on guys. They're busy cleaning themselves. They're calming down, relaxing. They're like, mmm, this stuff is good. There's honey in here, and there's like, hey man, I'm getting a buzz off this stuff. This stuff is addictive. They start munching on this. They want more and more and more. So hopefully they will give me a direction and they'll come back. That's the goal. So but I may it may take an hour. <laughs> take 30 minutes. Uh, you just don't know. It shouldn't, but they're just taking their time. I put honey on the tree and there's some hornets there. That's a good sign. The hornets found my honey. I just heard them behind me. These guys here are actually bees. They're leaf cutter bees. Uh, they cut the circles out of leaves. I gotta keep an eye over here. Make sure they don't leave. He's on the roof. He's on the top of the thing. Cleaning his antenna. Now, she should go home. She's had a nervous thing. She probably want to go home and get some reassurance from her friends. There, she's flapping her wings. The other one's drinking, which is good, filling up. Okay, the other one's out now too. She's up on the top of that little lid. She up, oh, she's flying. She's on the tree trunk now. She's cleaning herself up for antenna. Come on, girl. All right, circles around. She's getting her geolocation. She got her geolocation, and she's flying. Oh, don't land on a leaf. She's getting more, getting more. Come on, she's still getting her location, and she fucking stops on a tree. What the fuck? Excuse me. She went further up on the tree, so she's working way up on that tree right there. She's like on the right-hand side, like right there. You know, that, the other one's taken off, and I was busy looking up there, and that one hasn't moved. But I tell you what, there is a lot of Osuzume in this area, and I saw one go down there. The hive may be down there. Um, see, there's an Osuzume. Oh, no, that's a dragonfly. See, the Osuzume are attacking the leafcutter colony right here. These are leafcutters up there on the, on the tree here. See here? This is a leafcutter bee. This is actually a bee. Come on. Here's another one here. And, the, and here's another one. Right? But the Osuzume, I just saw go around the corner. And I think their colony is right here being raided. Yep, there's a Osuzume scout. Right there. So he's trying to get to and actually I dripped honey, see? On there. Now right in there. I think is the carpenter's bee's little hangout. He's flying around. Where is he gonna go? He smells the honey. And right in there, I think right in there is their nest in that corner. There goes my honey. I drizzled some honey down, but he hasn't found it yet. What a stupid hornet. He smells the honey, I think. All you need is he just what I did was drip honey on it so he's gonna have to fill up on honey he's trying to get the sticky honey off it right there and he's gonna go back to his hive
All right, I got the third guy there. He was the one hovering around. I, I, I caught him, put him in the trap. Now he's cleaning himself. Hopefully he'll give me a direction. He's only gonna to wanna to go home and get cleaned because the other hornets will love licking, licking her off. They will like licking her off. <laughs> She's right on that stump there. I don't know if you can see her in this video. So, whilst he was trying to clean himself, I was able to attach a ribbon, but it's, the placement isn't quite right. And I don't think he can fly with it. Oh, there, it's on the bottom now. So he's got a ribbon now on it, but his wing is all sticky. So this is the first, that's a way to do it. I was able to get a hornet ribbon, but I think it's too big for this for this for this hornet. She can fly. She sure is trying to take it off. She goes. She goes. Get an orientation. She's up in that tree. He went from there and he dropped straight down. Um, so I thought maybe there are hives down there because I thought maybe it is a mess of trees down there, but it's not. So I don't know if it was just too heavy. He was exhausted, couldn't fly anymore. And you know, because knowing like the length of those things, I mean, there's a whole science to ties on hornets. And extremely hard at least I have developed a way now to do ties and it's really simple I drip honey on its abdomen and then it's so focused on getting the honey off its abdomen that I can tie so that was a good experience so now I can I can do ties so I can catch them honey their abdomen put a tie on them but unfortunately for this hunt it's over I'm running out of light uh, you know it takes a long time to watch and go but I was close, just not close enough. My name is Mike Trout. If you enjoyed this video, consider supporting my Patreon page, Found Up's Patreon page. Um, you can subscribe. Oh, there he goes. He's going. He came over these trees and I lost him here. But I'm gonna walk this way until I get a clearing and that's where I would catch and release the next one. Now, I'm moving very slowly because the nest could be anywhere around here. And what you want to be doing is looking for tell-cell signs. And it's like ants. They move a lot of dirt. So if you see fresh dirt on the ground, then you know you're near. And you want to constantly be listening and moving slow. Because these things will attack within three meters. So you don't want to like rush up on them. But this is a big hill here. So it's prime territory for them to dig into the hill. So I'm on, I'm on this, this is all down, down, slope, 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 right? So, this is the kind of terrain, looking under trees, checking, checking, checking. Aha! <laughs> Stuff like this we look for. Something has made their burrow in there. You got to sit and wait. But this is prime. It's all slipped down. Prime location for an old Susan Met Killer Hornet Hive. I literally have like seconds on my video. Gonna have to save it here. And unfortunately, I can't videotape anymore. Uh, that's what sucks. When you don't have a film crew with you and all you have is your little iPhone, but I'm gonna keep looking here until I lose light and then uh, make my way back. Thanks for watching.